Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to Studio Plug Donut. Um, before I start this tutorial, I just want to let you guys know that I haven't been able to do a tutorial since I was sick for like almost a month, but I'm feeling a little better now, so I'll start dropping tutorials constantly. Also, on my last video, I had some people comment and supporters writing me telling me why I said I do this because it's a music business and not for the fans. So, first of all, I do do this for the fans, and I started off with uh, the tutorials and I was giving away free things. For you guys but as this is what pays my bills it turned from a hobby into a dream job if um, you, if you get what I'm saying so only way for me to continue helping you with these videos is if I put out my products and they're not really expensive I love I honestly love all the support and been doing this for you guys since day one but just because I'm doing this doesn't mean you know everything is free so thanks for the strong support I greatly appreciate it and I will continue doing this for you guys and answer back to any questions as fast as I can you can even email me and I always write back to any questions. So yeah, feel free to um, ask any questions uh, about music, about products, or tips and tricks. And you know, I'll get back as fast as I can. But anyways, let's get uh, into this tutorial. So in this video, I'll be showing you guys how to do a Suicide Boys type beat since this has been uh, a really high request. You know, I've been getting this request a lot. Just haven't had the time to do it. Um, I did some research and... Uh, I think it was uh, Suicide Boys and Pow You type beat or something. But yeah, I'm gonna try to try to get it as close as I can to that. So yeah, let's get started. So for this video, I'm be using silent um both of the presets i use from silent are from the dark ambience preset bank and the rest of these sounds are from the august 28th drum kit so let me go ahead and play you the sounds from silent let me go ahead and put down the volume this is, that almost kind of broke my ears and here's the other sound uh, 808 Open hat, a snare. Oh, well, it's a clap, but yeah. Anyways, um, and a hi hat. So for this video, it's uh, it's pretty simple to make these type of beats. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you. It's kind of like darkish chill trap, I guess. So let me go ahead and lay down like a simple melody. As uh, from what I heard, there were simple melodies. I don't know if there's any other melodic ones, but that's from what I heard. So we'll start off with that melody, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, jump into this little uh, miscellaneous functions, whatever you call it, and I'm going to right click on a keynote. That's the way I do it. You could always go into the piano pattern right here and just uh, drop it down just by selecting all and just dragging it, but that's not the way I do it. I just go into the piano note and just drop it down right there. Okay, so now that that's dropped down, you want to go ahead and do it to the other VST as you want to have them up both on point. So let's go ahead and copy and paste. It's a little too deep, so let's go ahead and put it on the same note, but high pitch it a little bit more. that we got the notes down let's go ahead and lay it down right here on the playlist so now we have everything right here let's go ahead and add another pattern let's go let's name it clap start off with the clap just drag it all the way down uh, let me just set, set this to be quick all right so now we add our clap it's not the clap that was the 
open hat. Okay, so now I just um, created a new pattern, which is the open hat. I'm going to do it the same as the clap, so they hit together. So now we got the clap, the open hat, and the melody. Let's go ahead and add some hi-hats. Set it to a fourth beat and grab this brush to drag it all down. Set it to uh, every other step. So now it's like that. You just want to start getting all experimental with your hi hats. Go ahead and cut this. Set it to one third step. That kind of gives it like the this e um this hi hat sound. So that's what you kind of normally hear in a a lot of beats now. So I just I just go ahead and uh, copy and paste it. bit more. Let's bring it back to one fourth of beat. Now that we got that down, let me just go ahead and uh Put these in a channel quick and do a quick EQ just to get rid of the low end. So I'm pretty sure this one has more low end than the other sound. So I'm going to go ahead and add another hi-hat, just make it a little bit more deeper. <clears throat> so I'm just going to make it deeper right here. And lay it down. I haven't cloned it yet, so let me put it back. Clone it. And I do the same thing I did, just make it deeper, right click on the C6.
now that we got that, let's go ahead and add the 808 that I got here. We'll go ahead and put the 808 down in the playlist as well. And just start messing with it. Set it back to a uh, one fourth of a beat. I'm gonna make this 808 unique. Now we got the melody down, the clap, the open hat, hi hats, um, and the 808, and that's pretty much all you need to it. Uh, sometimes you might want to throw them like a little flute. That's uh, that's what I heard in one of the sounds, but the, some of them are mostly just basic. And you could even switch it up. Like let me grab it, go ahead and grab this pattern and just split by channel. Um, there's a split by channel. So this is the first silent sound. So if I were to lay it down, probably sound like this. Kinda mashed the hi hats and uh it away together on accident. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean you could always switch it up, uh do it however you want. You could even add that little growth speed effect. So go to momentary and have speed. Probably cut off the hi hats when it drops just to give the rapper uh, a little bit more room, you know, everything's all clear, and then come back with the hi hats and probably add the effect like a, a rise or something. pretty much on how to make a suicide boys type beat um it's pretty easy um i haven't heard any other thing um any other of his beats so if you guys want me to make like another style of his you guys could just uh comment down in the comment section below uh, if you guys got any requests for any future videos just do the same just comment in the comment section below or you guys can talk to me you know i always write back so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like the sounds that were in it you can get at studioplug.net which is the dark ambience preset bank and the august 28th drum kit and everything is on sale since it's a 
a holiday for July 4th and I'm gonna have it going running all the way to the 10th so make sure you go ahead and get that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time